Hello, everybody. Hey, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Hi. Hello. Hello, Mom. Hello. So this meeting today is going to be a little different than most because it is a holiday in the United States. So I don't think anybody's going to be on the call. <laughs> oh, okay. Happy holiday. Thank you. It's Memorial Day. Um, okay. So all that means it's the official start of summer. So all banks are closed, everything's closed, and uh, it, it's interesting because um, it's just a regular Monday for everyone else. Um, so again, it, this might be a little uh, low. I'm going to share my screen and get started. Okay. Everybody see my screen? Yep. Yes, we can. Perfect. Okay. Again, um, I really was thinking of canceling this meeting because it is a holiday. So uh, it's going to be really probably quite short and maybe a great time for you guys to work together um, to, to get something done. I see uh, Nikki's on the call. Um, hello. How are you? Hi, Bob. I'm fine. Um, you said last week that you were signed up as a mentee for this project? No, actually, I was the mentor for the project. Excuse me? Uh, I was the mentor for this project. You're not listed on the site, though. Uh, actually, I'm listed on the site. Uh, just oh, let, hold me on. let me go to the page and I'll show you what I keep seeing. Okay, so here it says who the mentors are for the project, and you're not listed. Actually, he's a mentor of uh, onboarding. Oh, okay. So you're not, oh, you're on the onboarding project. Okay. Okay, so John is in charge of that one. Um, so uh, we usually do that on this call as well. Um, but I know he's not going to be around for the next week or so. So I'm not really sure what his interview schedule is like. Has he, have you guys started interviewing the mentees? Uh, actually, I have shortlisted the candidates and shared the uh, list with the, both of them, but haven't really heard from them about the interview process. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, you're lucky you have a short list. I have 22 on my interview list. <laughs> and I have to say, though, I'm enjoying every single call. Everyone's been on time, polite, nice, and very, very fun to chat with. So I appreciate that from all of you who've had your interviews already or are going to have your interviews in the next couple of days. And again, like I've said, the interview uh, process was overwhelming because of the absolutely wonderful amount of people who want to be involved in this uh, task force and mentorship. Um, I'm urging everyone who is not uh, selected to be the mentee, stay on the project. I will mentor you all and we will get uh, a great project and hopefully to uh, do something at the global forum with it, uh, present it and maybe, you know, get it adopted in the community what we decide. So that is wonderful. So again, these are, this is the documentation. I can't go look at the other one because I'm not, I guess I can look at it. Um, oh, I'm not going to waste our time, but um, we can talk about the onboarding um, towards the end of what we're covering today. So I'm going to go back. Okay, so let's start today. Um, do I have the antitrust policy? Yes. Uh, the any this call is being recorded for Hyperledger. The antitrust policy is on the screen. Please take a moment to read it over. And uh, if you have any further questions on how to act in a consortium-based call, you can go to the code of conduct or the antitrust policy um, and read it further or call. Andrew Updegrove of Geismer Updegrove, and he will explain it even further. Um, so let me edit this page. 
you know, it's very late for most of the people over in India. <laughs> Again, um, I might during this week change this call. Um, if anybody with a show of hands would prefer this to happen at 9 a.m., pop your hand up now. That's two. I thought I'd have a lot more. Um, uh, we, sorry, can you yes. just repeat what you said? Uh, actually, my internet just went off. Uh, I'm sorry, could you repeat that, Arena? Uh, can you please repeat what you said uh, to raise hands for what? Because my internet. Oh, okay. Um, this call takes place at 12 o'clock noon, um, but I'm available and the call is available to happen earlier, um, anywhere after nine o'clock in the morning. So if we want to drop it back three hours so that it starts 9 a.m. Eastern time, which is, I guess, six, seven o'clock your time. Is that about right? Oh, I'm OK with both. That's oh, OK, great. Yeah. Well, to make it more convenient, I'm going to talk to David this week about changing it to 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time so that you guys can, you know, not have to stay up till 10, 30, 11 o'clock for it. <laughs> I know I'm sound asleep by 10, so I don't know if I'd make it fast to the call. So I will do that. I will check with the Hyperledger Foundation and make sure it's okay. And then I will change the call to 9 a.m. Okay, moving on. Let me see. Am I editing the screen yet? Yes, I am. So let me just put today down. 29. Okay, so today is just very informal. Informal chatting. Okay, so I'm going to go first. Um, I was at the TOC meeting on Thursday, and I had to report. Um, I did do the report for the task force, basically saying that we are winding it down in three weeks, uh, which is when we're next going to be on the agenda. I haven't gotten a confirmation from Tracy, but uh, Tracy uh, Kurtz, but I'm sure I will. So that in um, two and a half weeks on that Thursday, let me just pop up my calendar and see if I can see what day that is. Of course not. Um, Anyway, so we'll be presenting and uh, what we'll present is the fact that the task force is still going to continue to meet, but not report to the TOC until the end of the mentorship, because we're going to work together to get everything done. And I see Malcolm, you have your hand up. Do you have a question? Oh, no, sorry. I was just saying that at the time, good for me, the earlier time. And you're in the States too, so it's your holiday today as well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, which is, yeah, but I'm, I'm in Central, so I mean, yeah, if it's whether it's 8 a.m. or 9 a.m., 12, okay. it's, I can make it work, however. Okay, well, happy Memorial Day. <laughs> Same to you, thanks. <laughs> um, so getting back, that is what the TOC decided, and so in two and a half weeks, you guys are going to do this presentation that we have in this matrix here, so I should title these better. Presentation details. So um, I would prefer not to have to talk, just introduce the gang. So uh, people who have signed up for the introduction, um, people who have signed up for the GitHub repository, the template, the best practices, and the onboarding. Uh, next week, we will definitely focus on um, getting the content for the presentation. And then um, I will go see if we, well, we have old look and feels for, for uh, the PowerPoint presentations, you know, like the Hyperledger blues and greens and all that, but I still really want to get the um, new branding information. So I will bug Ben from Hyperledger about that again, because right now it's hard for me and I'm sure you know, when you get into this a little bit more, developing materials that you know have an old brand on them and you're just going to have to redo them. So it's hard to get started until we get the new branding information, which should be, you know, any week. Um, they know, I think I saw 
when Ben gave that presentation to the group and showed us uh, just slightly the new branding. I think I did steal the, uh, I, I took a screenshot of it, but it's not very clear and I don't think it's official to use yet. So I'm still waiting on that. So that's hard for us to, to do the um, actual presentation without that. But if we just wanna do, if everybody anybody wants to get started, um, I'm gonna make a suggestion to just use either light blue or light green back screens and create a couple slides to show us next week. Um, I do also see, let me just update this real quick. Slow. So after I'm done chatting, we're gonna go over the uh, people who have done some work and wanted to make some suggest suggestions to this, um, which would be great, or anyone else who has anything to say, but we'll just go down this list first. Um, and hopefully uh, by the time we're done, we will have, um, there's a presentation thing right here. No. Oh, I'm on the wrong page, sorry. Um, we will have enough information for the, um, oh no, here it is. Um, presentation. So if you want to um, give your thoughts, I, I'll just sum this up real quick for everybody on the call. Um, and then we'll do a round of introductions. And then we'll start um, with um, Akash, I'm going to crucify this, Akansha's uh, presentation or information that wants to share. Um, so real quick, uh, everybody's, um, the GitHub is really popular because that's a really um, tangible and really helpful way for us to impact the community. The GitHubs right now, um, if you go to the old Learning Materials Working Group archive pages, we did do a summation of what the whole community is using and everybody's using different stuff in different ways. There's read the docs, there's make the docs, um, some people are using them and Hyperledger has come out with that paid tooling policy. Um, so my challenge to the GitHub group is again, I don't know, um, I've never started a project from scratch and a lab and created a GitHub repository and know what's supposed to be in it. I know the process of it is that an idea comes into the group, whether it comes in through the mentorship program or we have the, um, Min has another initiative in the um, fall um, to get new ideas and new programs in. So if you are in the community with an idea, you have to find a, a lab stort, which is Tracy. There's a whole mess of them around. I would direct you to uh, who it is. Um, I think TOC members can be lab stores too, just by de facto. So I could, you know, help out. But your project then would go into this uh, blank GitHub lab request template repository, or you would copy that and then put your information in and then send it to the TOC for approval. And once you have that information correct in that GitHub repository, and the TOC likes the idea of the project, it moves forward to an incubating project, which steps up the documentation and the template more. So it goes from the lab template, um, which is right here, to the template that uh, Tracy um, is working with us, um, which will be the final um, one. So that's the one that gets a project out of labs into incubation is the one we're working on right now. And what that has to have is a lot of information from the best practices. Um, now I'm gonna click on this real quick to see if I updated it and I'm not sure I did. They are finished with the task force as of Thursday, last Thursday. No, no, this is the old templates. So this is the old learning material templates on here. Um, and here's, here's the information. Um, about what the community is using or what the recommendations uh, comparing the different um, read the docs and, and, and Sphinx and all the other different components. And this is our try at making 
a learning materials working group GitHub repository. Um, and so that's a lot of information. And then in here also is the comparing of the different projects in the uh, foundation right now, what they're using and how they're doing it. So if you're really interested in that, you can go there, but that's not the link I was looking for. I'm gonna find it here in overview for labs. So this would be the one that you have to fill out. So this one's done and it's a good way to look and see what's been done in the community. So this would be the template that they'd have to um, download to uh, get accepted into, um, oh no, this is Tracy's. Now I'm jumping all over the place. My links are all messed up today. So this is the template that we'll be working on. Um, Tracy set it up for us um, a little bit. Um, but we have to make sure it's usable, readable, and we need some user docs for it because people who are creating labs and trying to graduate the labs out of labs into incubation um, need clear guidelines, what needs to be in this GitHub repositories. And the best practices, and I don't think I have the link, but the best practices uh, GitHub repository has uh, what the documentation best practices should look like. So whatever that, uh, whether it's the licensing information, whether it's the, uh, all that information should be clearly um, put in this template um, to move out of labs into um, an incubated project. So that's basically the GitHub repository. And again, I don't know what that stuff looks like right now. That would be what we're working on this summer. I don't know, uh, suggestions on how to go about this. Um, I've mentioned to a few people during the interviews that, you know, I'm a teacher and I'm not really, um, I don't really use GitHub. I can teach it to you, but I don't really use it. So it's hard for me to try to figure out the workflow of a GitHub repository from a template to a repository your own. And, you know, so I would love someone to teach that to me as well. So the next thing is the template that's on hold till we get the branding information, but you can go through the old templates from the learning materials working group, which I just showed you that link right there. Um, and that will, you can see what we have to take from the old stuff and bring into the new brand. Um, again, we talked about the best, oh, maybe that's it. Yep, that's it. So there is a link. So you can see what, um, and you can just view this any way you want, but you can see what uh, documentation should be in here. So there it is. You can see what they uh, recommend for the labs. They want that other template to get out of labs into incubation. Um, and that's what we're working on. So you can see the best practices is relying on us to get information for them because down the road, what we'd like is um, some kind of credentialing for these projects that they've passed the best practices and they got the badge, um, but they'd have to check off the documentation piece and we need to decide what that looks like. Um, and onboarding is the same thing. We've talked about this a lot um, in this call. There's five or six spots. People head into the um, community, into the um, environment. There's four personas that uh, are those people. Uh, we need to make sure that those six spots have links for those four personas to get them where they need to go so they don't spend time swimming around the um, website looking for stuff. Um, and that's what that um, combination of the onboarding and the documentation is. Um, so basically, that's uh, what the presentation to the task force is going to cover. Um, and I know that people have thoughts and comments. So first, I'm just going to go for a round of um, introductions. Um, and we'll start with, I'm going to say your name incorrectly again, so you have to correct me. Anka Shana. Okay, I'll say it again. Anka Sharani. I think she's not in the call. Oh, okay. I didn't feel disconnected. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think, then we'll go. I think her pronunciation will be Akanksha. If I'm not wrong. Okay. Yeah. 
Hi. Akansha. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Well, Aruna, I mean, you can introduce yourself and all. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, hello, everyone. I got to know about hyperplasia through the LFX mentorship, and it has been great. I'm getting to know more about the projects through the by joining the various calls. And uh, pre prior to this, I have been. Uh, I am currently a content writer scholarship track, and also a technical coach at AnitaB.org. I will also be uh, one of the uh, core team members of the GHC this year. Apart from that, I have been an MLH fellow where I worked with Solana Labs on a blockchain-based project. And yeah, I just uh, I am graduating currently, and after my graduation, I will be going for my masters. So that's about me. Thank you so much. That's wonderful. Thank you. Uh, hello, ma'am. Am I audible? Yes. Now? Yes, I can hear you now. Go ahead uh, with your introduction. Yeah. Hello, ma'am. Yeah. So myself, Akanksha. Akanksha Rani, and I'm currently a second. I have just completed my second year, and then right now I'm in my summer break. So I am a, a, a huge AIML enthusiast, and also just got to uh, got interest in blockchain since I developed some projects in it. Other than that, I have uh, written some research papers, and one of them is published, and other are still in process in IEEE. Uh, and other than that, yeah, I would love to contribute this summer uh, in Hyperledger. And I had a great uh, interview with Bobby Man as well. So would love to work with you all. That's all about me. Thank you so much. And my old friends here, Elizabeth, she is one of the leaders in the Hyperledger community with great new ideas and trying to get them implemented. So I'll have Thank her you. introduce herself. Thank you. I'm a master biomedical engineer, a certified forest steward, and a human factors engineer. And right now I'm working on a project that would bring in funding from uh, an institute for stipends for 300 mentees on a project that, in healthcare on blockchain. And I'm working out the letter of intent right now, and we need Erica Bierbauer or somebody with the authorization to actually sign this letter of intent that is due in two days um, and so that we can um, tell them that we are interested in applying for the funding. And so I look forward to um, getting in touch with them. Happy Memorial Day weekend for everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. Happy Memorial Day. Um, I hope you have nice weather where you are. It's beautiful here today. Um, Hijala? Hijala. No, uh. Uh, hello, ma'am. It's Kajal. Okay, sorry about that. Go ahead, introduce yourself. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I uh, today had an uh, interview with Gabi Nam, and uh, I'm a third, uh, third year undergrad in MIT Jalandhar. Uh, and like, I have uh, explored. Uh, Android development and software development, and also I have contributed in various open source programs. And like I was very much interested in documentation since my uh, first year. I like to contribute uh, in like documentation thing. So I've also uh, uh, worked as a mentee in G G Work uh, twenty uh, two, and I was also the uh, uh, top contributor. So I re I'm really excited to work uh, in Hyperledger because I am uh, uh, seeking to learn a lot of new things and I'm very excited about this. Thank you. Well, thank you and welcome. Glad you dropped over call. Um, Karen is next. Um, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Karan Verma and I am from North India. I have recently done engineering in computer science from Jalanda City, and uh, I have been a volunteer as a meetup organizer for the Hyperledger chapter here in my city, where I organize virtual events and physical events as well. Even I took a part in Global Forum as a TA back in 2021. Now I look forward to more in uh, technical contribution for the Hyperledger so that I can get a hands-on experience and managing my community to empower here and uh, learn as much as possible about Hyperledger through this mentorship program. 
So I look forward to it. Do you happen to have a, a regional meetup group by you? Uh, not regional. It's a community group here, local. Because uh, I know that there's strong um, regional groups throughout India. And if there's not one up north, maybe we can talk you into starting a hyperledger meetup up in your area. <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm managing here uh, under India's chapter of hyperledger. Oh, OK, uh, great. And I also attended weekly calls with everybody there. And uh, it's a good to be part of them. Yeah, yeah, great. I'm glad you're a part of it. Good. Um, Malcolm? Yes, uh, good afternoon, uh, good evening, good morning, everybody, depending on where you are. Uh, my name is Malcolm. I'm currently in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, I currently work as a data analyst, um, specifically within data governance for a healthcare company, health insurance company. Um, and I basically, um, I contribute to a data catalog as well as uh, build tools to help developers to find the data that they need when they're um, creating their analytics or their programs. Um, I became interested in blockchain technology, um, probably like most people through Bitcoin. And But for me, it was about maybe 2018, 2019, uh, started learning about uh, Bitcoin. And then I moved into learning about Ethereum. And that's what led me into learning more about Hyperledger. And so I'm here just because I'm, I'm very uh, interested in the, uh, the prospect of Hyperledger becoming um, uh, uh, the, basically the, the standard uh, for enterprise blockchains. Um, I think that it's going to be a, a very interesting um, journey and path. So uh, definitely uh, excited to continue learning with you guys and, and, um, and contributing. Um, I don't have any open source experience contributing, but I'm looking to get that through this program. And, um, and and to uh, continue to to contribute to the Hyperledger project uh, moving forward. So uh, that's me and uh, good to meet you all. Yeah, that's interesting that you brought up the Ethereum and how Hyperledger is the standard for uh, enterprise. I couldn't agree with you more about that point, um, but I find it interesting that consensus is part of the Hyperledger Foundation community and that Besu and um, a few of the other connector lab projects are bringing the two worlds together and that is going to be unstoppable so like yeah. what basic is doing um where it can use the token connector and ride on the ethereum blockchain at the same time keeping everything privatized and enterprised um is fascinating so mm -hmm. welcome aboard thank you okay nika you want to introduce yourself yeah yeah well. Uh, so hi everyone, uh, I'm Nikko Singh, I'm a pre final year student from NIT Chitwanda and previously I have been a mentee for one of the projects and this year I'll be a mentor for the onboarding task, for, uh, onboarding mentor mentee program and uh, what caught my interest uh, with Hyperledger was that I was looking for some open source organization in the blockchain space. So at that time I attended lots of their meetings, Hyperledger India chapters and got to know about them Arun, Kamlesh, and others, uh, other folks over here. So yeah, still now I've been in this community. Yeah, it's been pretty well. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, who's next on my list? Uh, Prache? Yes, Bobby. Uh, greetings and happy uh, Memorial Day, everyone. Uh, I am Pratap Banerjee, and I'm a recent graduate with majors in electronics and communication engineering, and also an upcoming master student at Technical University mm -hmm. Munich. My interest, um, my interest lie in the intersection of blockchain, machine learning, and web development. In addition to my technical pursuit, I am also a designer, and I love participating in hackathons to learn new skills and connect with uh, you know individuals from across the globe. I love open source, and I actively contribute to various open source organizations, including TensorFlow, PyTorch, and Apache. This summer, I'm contributing to TensorFlow under Google Summer of Code. Uh, my interest in blockchain technologies and distributed computing uh, led me to discover the Hyperledger Foundation. Uh, I'm fascinated by the foundation's mission and being a part of the community would allow me to deepen my knowledge of blockchain technologies while contributing to the project. Uh, also, uh, I'm a part of the Hyperledger local chapter community 
and I wanted to draw a special thanks to Niku uh, for playing a pivotal role in guiding me into the world of Hyperlaser and encouraging me to apply for it. Excited to interact and learn from you all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Sahil? Uh, yes, Bobby, uh, it's Sahil, and uh, thank, uh, you, thank you for inviting me to join this uh, meeting here from Mumbai. I am a third year, so a third year student in engineering here in Mumbai. Uh, I have been uh, contributing to Moza Global for one in year, particularly in documentation. And uh, and I think I think that what Hyperledger is doing is great. It is uh, its main motive is to develop enterprise based open source distributed ledger frameworks and tools. So uh, what I think is contributing to this open source program or uh, this organization would be great in my looking uh, in my journey. And I'm seeking a lot to, uh, seeking a lot to learn from this program. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Thank you for joining us. Um, Tipur. Tipur. Hello. 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 How are you? Uh, hi. Hi, everyone. My name is Tripur Joshi. And uh, sorry for the background noises. I'm at the airport. So if you have any announcements. Um, so uh, I'm in my I completed my third year uh, recently and uh, I'm in my fourth year right now and my summer vacations are going on and uh, I always learn um, like always love to contribute to open source that's why I'm here and um, I started uh, my journey of blockchain in my first year and then I had an internship in a Dubai based startup and uh, after that, uh, now I'm uh, the, uh, writing research papers on blockchain and uh, I have a patent with me and uh, there's uh, another copyright coming along uh, in few months. It will, be, it will be online and it is regarding blockchain NFTs and how uh, we can integrate blockchain with gaming system. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, that's, yes, yes, that's fascinating. Yeah, that's all from my side. Hope to get Thank along you. with everyone. Okay, um, we have two Yasha, so we're going to go for Yash Kataria. Um, hello, Bobby. Yash Kataria on this side. Uh, I'm a pre final year undergrad student uh, majoring in information technology here in New Delhi, India. And I've been attending the meetings from the past few weeks, and it's been a great experience to learn from all of the mentors here. And I think my previous experiences with open source and blockchain technology would be a great asset and a great fit for the Hyperledger Foundation. Uh, also, I have some really good projects in hand that has helped me win various big hackathons. So, yeah, that's it. Hoping to see you all in the team. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And the other Yash? <laughs> so, hello, everyone. Myself, Yash Pimple. I am currently in my third year. Will start my third year in my summer. I am in my summer breaks. So, I am. Uh, I have. I am from India, and my keen interest are into DevOps and cloud native technologies. I am currently also contributor at contributor and member at Captain Organization and in documentation task force. Along with that, I love to write blogs. Uh, and that's from all. That's all from my side. I love to uh, uh, communicate with you all in upcoming task force documentation meeting. Thank you. I'm going to put that down because you know what? They always want us to send information to the marketing department and I never know what to send. So I'm going to check with you next time. And we have some other people on the call now. How about uh, you introduce yourself, Devesh? Uh, hi, everyone. Uh, pardon me for the background noises. Uh, so I'm from India and I'm pursuing computer science. So I have been joining Hapalism for a quite a long time now. And I'm looking forward to join the onboarding uh, mentorship program. And uh, <clears throat> apart from that, I'm, uh, uh, I have good web development uh, skills. And I recently started learning blockchain. And I have a keen interest in hyperledger uh, hyper technology. So I'm learning that also. And I'm looking forward to 
meet everyone and contribute to high pleasure in any way i can thank you thank you and uh dba joita uh am i audible yes yes uh uh good morning everyone i guess uh it's a night time i guess talking okay. uh, hello my name is uh dba uh currently i'm in a third year uh in i'm doing my uh, bachelor's in computer science engineering uh, and uh, i'm uh, previously in uh, previously i worked as an intern uh, at a startup as in a machine learning role and uh, also have skills of web development so uh, and this uh, i landed up on uh, so someone referred me uh, about this amazing com community about hyperledger uh, which was uh offering this a uh, mentee opportunity for this uh june to uh for this six months as an intern so i applied for this and i'm hoping that i can contribute to this uh community again everybody is welcome to contribute i am willing to mentor um everyone in this group who wants to continue on this project this project is so worthwhile and there's so many so many spots for everybody. The only thing I will say, everybody, a lot of people have asked in the interviews, there is no coding. <laughs> You'll be taking code and making it into documents, but there is no coding in this in this internship. Um, but again, if if after this internship, you will know if you are a coder and want to do that, you will know exactly what project uh, resonates with you and where you need, to, what community you need to join to um, you know, use your talents. And also, I just wanted to extend a congratulation to all the graduates. Um, if you're here during, you know, your graduation uh, celebrations, congratulations from us. Um, and now, so I'm going to change the meeting time. Let's get that one. Um, and now I'm going to let the individuals who created a wiki page introduce their wiki page. And I also want to supply, um, if you want to, between now and next week, set up a meeting through the Hyperledger Zoom or my Zoom room that I use for our interviews, let me know if your group wants to meet. I will send you a Zoom room, or if you have your own Zoom room, feel free to subgroup, subcommittee, whatever you call it, uh, to work on these uh four buckets that we have to. So now I'm going to turn it over to Akash, I can't say it again, Akasha. Hello. Akasha, yes. Yeah, hello ma'am. I couldn't hear the last uh, thing that you said, like uh, from now to next week, what, what is expected? Like I can um, repeat that. If you want to meet with some people who are interested in the same things you are, I will be able to supply you a Zoom meeting room if you need uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, ma'am. Yeah, so uh, I just received the message from you day before yesterday regarding like we can make a wiki page of ourselves. So I, I like I right now, I don't think like I am very much uh, uh, known to the project, but from the things I have heard, these are some of the in, initial ideas, just from the brief ideas of how can we improve the best practices. And other than that, I just listed the resources for now. But yeah, from now, like this, uh, this week, I have like decided to start working on the things that you you have explained to us till now, like how are the things like you have explained different positions, the SOC chairs, and also I have ideas on that as well. But so sorry that I couldn't update it because of my exams, but I'll be updating the sheet and putting off my ideas uh, here itself. So uh, right now it's a, a small uh, a small sheet, but yeah, from the ideas, I can definitely make it a very useful page for you and the community. That would be great. Yes, thank you. And the more um, you know, we figure out where everybody uh, has some talents and has some interest, uh, we will definitely break out into the groups. If not already this week, we'll definitely, because I'm not done with the interviews because there were so many that I don't think it's fair to start like breaking out into groups until we've actually talked to everybody. So I think this week we'll just take it a little slow. Um, and next week after I've met and chatted with everybody, and if you don't have an interview set up, just 
keep looking at my calendar. They keep changing all the time. Um, and we will get the interviews done for everyone. Um, and then we will uh, break out into the groups. So thank you for this. This is this is great work. Uh, uh, thank so you, Bobby, what, are we ex what are we expecting for the interview? Um, nothing. It's, ten, it's very informal. It's 10, 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I ask you a question or two about documentation and you ask me a question or two and that's it. It's fun. Yeah, yeah, sure. Gotcha. Okay. Um, okay, so now we're going to go to Arunima. Okay, so hey, Bobby. So currently I'm just do, uh, completing a technical writing course by Google to better understand what are the needs of documentation, how to write better documentation, templates and everything. So I will complete that course in two to three days. And I hope that after that, I can add some value to the uh, Hyperledger community, community through those learnings. So currently, I'm just uh, focusing on understanding what are the standard uh, uh, standard uh, practices that are followed on various documentations. So I'm doing that currently. Uh, question, can I put you on the agenda for next week for a five minute teach the teacher session? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Like, so you would I like kind of give, give us the bullet points of your uh, class. Okay, sure. So whatever I'm learning through that course, I can share that with everyone. I would love to do Please. that. Please. Yes, yeah. that would be wonderful. Yeah, yeah, sure. I would love to do that. That's great. Okay, so uh, we'll we'll put you on the agenda for next week for that. Thank you. Yes, of course. Let me just put this down. Okay, hold on. Why isn't this working? Oh, I stopped sharing, didn't I? I love the teach the teacher sessions. Yeah, that would be great. Thank you for that. Excuse me. Yeah, accounts for the side. So, ma'am, I was saying like I also feel like I don't, uh, I am not very much educated right now regarding the project. So, will it be possible for you to give the session to me as well, along with? Yeah, it will be for everybody. Yeah, okay, okay, ma'am. So please put my name also there. And... Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. I'll put it on, on yours. Yes, wonderful. Okay, uh, so now. Hey, Bobby, uh, just kind of give me a brief of what the Teach the Teacher session is about and what will I have to do that? Do there? Um, okay, I would say the Teach the Teacher session when I got my master's in education. Um, it was techno business technology education, and it was probably 15, 20 years ago. And the first thing they told us was that we were never going to be smarter than our students the next day. Like every student you see will have more information than you because there's just so going to be so much technology information out there. And they were correct. So what they um, teach you to do um, as an educator who educates is sessions called Teach the Teacher. It's two or three slides that you feel that what you got out of that course that you could share with others. Okay, okay, definitely. Definitely got it. Thank you so much. No worries. Okay, we're gonna yeah. move on to um, Kajal. Um, hello, Bobby. Uh, yes. I'm yet to explore the project. I have like explored the open source uh, template and tools that uh, we'll be using in the project. like. Uh, in the repository, it is uh, mentioned. Uh, mentioned we'll be using uh, MacDoc and uh, MacDoc uh, template. So I've just go, go gone through the like a syntax and all markdowns and all. So I'm yet to explore the project. Like what I can add, I need like few days to go through. Thank you for that. I just had a little, my two dogs just had a little spat. <laughs> I apologize for the growling. Um, okay, Karen, thank you for that. Um, um, hi, Barbara. Hi, how are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm well. 
so yeah so i'm working on the resources that has given in the website and according to that um i have gone through the repositories of github and checked out some issues like how to improve the templates and uh, apart from that how to uh, initialize this project and improve the all the things which resources are required so i'm right now working on this and uh, we'll share more things with you soon uh, about these uh, documentation standards perfect i would love to hear it again you could do a session for us when you're ready we appreciate that sure i look forward to it and i uh, love to know more about this uh, project through online resources as well as the presentations yeah well the presentations are going to be fun cuz once we have a lot uh once we get more information into our four buckets of information uh we'll do meetup presents too so we'll do the indie we'll do one of those uh network meetups so that the whole community can uh be caught up on the documentation um so that'll be um fun too very, excuse me it will be clear and crisp for us oh <laughs> thank you all right saraba You on the call? No, she's not on the call. Sorry about that. And then somebody named their page suggested improvements. Uh, it's me, by the way, Bobby. Oh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead. You can explain to us what you think. Oh, this is great. Okay, so I've been digging into the project for quite a while now, and I've been also, you know, like going through some hyperledger resources for a while, and uh, I followed few documentation, you know based practices and i came to know about this four grade practice system i'll be dropping i'll be dropping the link in the chat so i followed this thing and i came to know about uh, what improvements we can actually you know bring to the existing template and that is how i come up with uh, you know all this like five points also i raised a pr regarding uh, you know i faced one issue that is basically if you are uh, you know a newcomer to the template then it kind of becomes very difficult for uh, someone uh, to go through and like do other things that is why i created this pr which kind of you know adds a stale bot for monitoring open issues and also integrated a few pr and issue templates uh, for contributors so you did this from a github repository what did you use read the, read the docs no, if you if you if you uh, go back to the suggested improvements page so you can see those five points right these five points can be actually introduced to the main template these are the things which are missing from the main uh, oh, you know, oh i see and oh, then, I see. Great. If, uh -huh. if you, perfect if you if you follow those bullets i am yet to add the best practices uh, because i am already signed up for that and if you see that uh, added a stale bot for monitoring thing so you see that link right beside uh, yeah. there's an arrow yeah when you click on it you'll be redirected to uh, a pr which i created today oh i get it so if you click on minor updates uh, well, then minor. You can, yeah it's basically above uh, like just below the description yeah uh, you can see the file changes you can also click on the files changed just below it just below it files changed yeah so you can see all the workflows and everything that i created for this mm -hmm. this is great work thank you so much happy to help <laughs> oh this is awesome again so this is the kind of stuff we have to figure out um we have to get an example um, together and and we have to decide if this is what we're going to say that this is what every project should need um we'll talk a lot about uh each point you know if this is what it should look like how do we train the people who needs to know this information but this is a great great job thank you so much very very impressed yeah. Okay, so does anybody have anything else to um, supply before we wrap up with uh, to-dos and next steps? 
I'm so sorry to interrupt, ma'am, but I think my name was not there in the mentorship like drop down thing. So how do we add it there? I oh, okay. So if you haven't time. had your interview yet, I haven't told you this, and that's why we're waiting to do anything till next week because this week is still all through interviews. And I, I probably will open another day because I do have to switch one or two around um, for uh, something personal. Um, but so we'll do the interviews through the week and then next week after the interviews are done, um, everybody will be on board. But for those who haven't had your interview yet, and then there's like 19 or 20 of you, um, what I'm asking you to do is this is the page that I'm using until, um, I know there's a page for the mentorship program. We're supposed to be keeping all our work. Uh, and we will do that once we determine, you know, more things. But for now, this is where I'm keeping the management page for the mentorship. So this is basically our four buckets we're working on, kind of like a timeline and what needs to be filled in for those buckets. I will fill out if you've had your interview and it's not checked off yet. It's just because I haven't done the, the maintenance work on this. Um, so that when you get your interview, what I'm going to ask you to do is from this mentorship page, see that I'm on the mentorship page. Um, I'm going to ask you, once you're logged into the Linux Foundation and your picture is up here, and if you need help with that, just ask me, um, I'm going to ask you to create your own workspace. So you would hit the create button. And you would title it with your name and just publish it. And then it would show up on this list. And that's where you should keep, you know, your notes. Because if I see that, that like I get a notification if anybody edits any of these pages. So I'll know if somebody's been working on something, I'll be sure to call on them. Or, you know, if I see that your page has been worked on, you know that um, that person has, you know, wants to contribute during the meeting. Um, so again, uh, just create your own space and put down your thoughts. Everybody's thought is important. There are so many, there's going to be so many different caveats to both the onboarding and the documentation and working together with onboarding and documentation um, that everybody's idea will have somewhere to go. And it's funny how um, people wind up just gravitating to the, the um, information that appeals to them. And then that's usually where they wind up, you know, devoting a lot of their free time or, or reading time. Um, and then that reading time becomes a uh, boost to their career. So I'm going to quickly check the chat. Oh yeah, there's my calendar. If you, I'm gonna add a couple days after this call um, because I do have to switch something on the 31st. Um, but I will talk to everyone who wants an interview um, this week. No worries. And I don't know about John, um, where he is or what he's doing, um, but he you know, will probably be reaching out to a few people who are on the mentorship program to interview them. Um, but I know a lot of on the TOC call, there's a lot of uh, committee people who have mentors uh, applications in and all of us were saying the same thing that there's no way we're getting this done by the first of the month. <laughs> there's just no way we can do all this by the first. So there's no rush to get the interview in before the end of the month. Um, Thursday and Friday are going to be opened up as well. So everybody will get a chance. Um, does anybody have any more questions or anything to say in the last five minutes? Yes, I do have a question. Go ahead. Uh, so I'm just kind of uh, confused with the best practices badge. I mean, uh, I don't understand what exactly the badge is uh, assigned for. Because if you go through the page, then uh, as far as I can understand, that is, uh, it's basically if a user actually, you know, uh, performs all the activities in the following manner, then I think the badge will be granted, right? Something like that. Yes. Um, let me see if I can find something. Let me think. I have to think for just a second. Something here. Let me just find something and it'll probably clear it up for you. Why does it keep going over there? I want to find it first. Oh, I think I did find it. Hold on. So when we were referring to the best practices badge, um, I'll just get to fabric. 
is. Never before seen information. Don't share this with anyone. <laughs> it's, it's the new course that's coming out. Um, so here is fabric and here is their best practice bag. So there's pipeline information, whether they succeeded in that. Um, open source um, foundation has certain guidelines, whether they've passed those. Um, their, uh, I guess, Go language or their smart contracts, have they been vetted properly? Do they have reference guides? And then do they pass the documentation piece? Um, so that's basically what each project, and I don't know if you gleaned that from the information you've um, read, but then they put this on their page so everybody knows that they got that badge. Now, as a task force, I was looking, um, and I don't think I'm going to stop sharing. My uh, the main confusion was there, ki, uh, like, if you're following some uh, rules, set of rules, then you're basically admitting that uh, you are doing that thing correctly, right? Something like that. And now if you do that, you are granted that badge as a piece of that mark, uh, like markdown badge, right? Yep. That is being added to the readme. Okay, got it. Yep, yep. And it's added to everywhere. So like there's, you see fabric, you see this badge, you know that they've, you know, passed all their checkpoints. Okay, uh, okay. So that you is know, and, then the the and the best, and the, if you go to the TOC task force page, the best practice is just wrapped up. They've just done extensive work on what each one of these sections should look like. And I think there's a security section that's not listed here. Um, Cause I know there was a lot of discussion in the TOC about that security piece. Um, mm -hmm. So if you want to go to the, the um, GitHub of the TOC and just go to their task forces, best practices, you'll see the latest conclusions. Okay. 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 Thank you. Anyone else have any questions? Well, for those of you graduating, congratulations. And for those of you celebrating Memorial Day, have a great afternoon. And I'll talk to everybody. Thank you. And again, email me if you want to um, set up a Zoom call for um, anything during the week. Um, actually, my interview schedule is kind of packed this week. So hopefully I'll just talk to everybody on Monday unless you have a scheduled interview. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye.